Ladies and gentlemen, the time has finally arrived. We've gotten the official summer update Red Dead Online Newswire. Finally, I was live streaming on Twitch all today. We were wondering like what was going on. Tunables didn't update in Red Dead. We were wondering if we were actually going to get anything either Tunable Newswire on like a weekly change or if we were going to get a summer update Newswire or the summer update itself. Red Dead Online summer update coming September 10th. Introducing Frontier Pursuits, new bounty hunter, trader, and collector specialist roles and more. This is a huge Newswire, guys. There is a ton to jump into and for this particular video, this is literally everything that you guys need to know about this update and let me tell you it is pretty amazing we're gonna go through all the facts and news and information that you need to know and then I'm gonna save my thoughts for the end just a few things about each role that I picked up on when I was reading this newswire to my twitch audience as well so we're gonna jump right into this drop a like if you guys do go on to enjoy today's video and also, subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. Make sure to follow me on Twitter, Twitch, and Instagram at HazardousHDTV to stay up to date with all the latest and greatest Red Dead Redemption 2 news and information. So, jumping right into this, the next Red Dead Online update arrives September 10th and introduces three new Frontier Pursuits, the next step in the continual evolution of Red Dead Online. Frontier Pursuits are an ongoing series of roles for players to inhabit, delivering a wide array of themed activities that each offer unique items, skills, and more as you progress through each role. In addition to the first three new roles comes dramatic improvements to player control with quicker and more responsive movement across all phases of combat and locomotion, the ability to redesign your character's appearance without resetting progress, greater damage resistance while in the defensive playing style, new ability cards confirm that leak is true, probably those cards are coming into the game, a lot of people said it was BS, well guess what, two days later it's confirmed. New daily challenges and daily role challenges, we have new daily challenges coming into the game as well as the roles themselves will have their own sets of challenges. More dynamic events happening across the frontier, a slew of new items, and much more. Specialist roles, ranks, and progression. Jumping into this, with each role, you'll always have new pursuits to embark upon that lead to unique items and skills as you progress, in addition to cash and gold payouts. As Red Dead Online continues to evolve, more frontier pursuits will be added, giving you new roles, new choices, and more ways to personalize your path through the world of Red Dead Online. Each role automatically earns role XP as you complete a role's activities. When you hunt a bounty, you'll earn role experience towards the bounty hunter. When you find a collectible, you'll earn role experience towards the collector, and so on. Role XP counts towards your progression through 20 role ranks. You will reach a new tier of distinction every 5 ranks. Novice, Promising, Established, and Distinguished. Unlocking a role rank earns role tokens and at certain ranks you'll also unlock new skills such as the bounty hunter ability to duck for protection on horseback or a trader's ability to train their camp dog to warn of a camp raid by thieves, upgrades to your satchel's carrying capacity, or access to new role specific free roam events. Each tier also has a kit of items that are unique to the role and can be unlocked for purchasing using role tokens. For example, the trader's novice kit gives you access to 7 trader role items including a unique saddle, gun belt, and a stew pot that provides your camp with fresh meals to refill your cores and your posse's cores, and additional recipes to prepare special stews for gold cores. While the bounty hunter's established kit gives you access to 7 bounty hunter role items including a bounty wagon to hold multiple bounty targets Targets, the bolus throwing weapon to tangle the legs of bounties, a new outfit, and more. Players that progress to distinguished ranks will have earned a range of new skills that will be useful in all their pursuits across the frontier, advanced camp styles and comforts, and recognizable clothing items that will show off their accomplishments in each discipline. Jumping into the first role, the Bounty Hunter. Get started as a Bounty Hunter when you meet the legendary Bounty Hunter in Rhodes and purchase the Bounty Hunter license. The standard cost is 15 gold bars, while Twitch Prime members who link their Twitch and Rockstar Games Social Club accounts by Sunday, September 8th, will get the Bounty Hunter license license for free starting September 10th. Guys, even if you don't have Twitch Prime, 15 gold bars is really not that much. That is the entry price for every single role, I will just tell you that right now. But if you have Twitch Prime, you play on PS4, or you do the GTA playing cards, the 54 playing cards in GTA Online, you can get all roles unlocked for free without spending 45 gold bars. So, licensed bounty hunters can pick up work by visiting bounty boards located near law offices, post offices, and train stations across the states. There is no shortage of criminals to be dealt with, and the targets range in difficulty from lone, low-level criminals to notorious outlaws with armed protection details and a watchful eye. Taking on an armed gang or bringing multiple targets to justice is made easier with the help of a posse who will all earn a cut of the bounty. And keep in mind, bringing in targets alive will yield a greater reward. Eclipsing Bounty Hunter rank 12 
will open up the opportunity to take down other high bounties of $20 or more. Bounty hunters will be notified through an invite about the opportunity to hunt down the wanted player when they're nearby in a structured pursuit, and the wanted player must escape or surrender within the allotted time, and if captured, they'll also have opportunities to escape and flee. If the bounty hunter brings the target in alive, they'll receive an award while the criminal serves time. Unique bounty hunter skills and items include Focus, allowing you your targets to glow red in Eagle Eye. Reinforced Lasso, a lasso made with reinforced rope to keep bounties secure. Reverse Spin, perform a reverse spin with a single pistol or revolver. There are a couple of these unique bounty hunter skills. Tonics Satchel Upgrade, store more items in your tonics pouch. Eagle Eye Plus, track enemies while sprinting or galloping. Spin Up, perform a spin up with a single pistol or revolver. Kit Satchel Upgrade, store more items in your kit pouch. Tracking Arrow Pamphlet, a pamphlet recipe on how to craft tracking arrows. Reverse Spin Up, perform a reverse spin up with a pistol or revolver. Ducking, duck for protection while on horseback. Bolus, a throw weapon perfect for tangling the legs of bounties. Bounty Wagon, a wagon for securely retaining bounty targets. Perception, receive a notification of bounties from a greater distance. Alternating flips, perform alternating flips with a single pistol or revolver. And lastly, dual gun spinning, perform gun spinning tricks with two pistols or two revolvers. Moving on, we have the Trader. Your trusted camp companion, Crips, has long dreamed of starting a trading outpost and you're going to help him make it happen by becoming a partner in the fledgling Crips Trading Company. Combining Crips' lifetime of work with animal materials and your skills at hunting and frontier security, you'll have the perfect ingredients to develop a thriving business. Once you agree to help Crips, you can start turning your camp into a business by sourcing items for Crips to convert into sellable goods. An investment of 15 gold bars to purchase a butcher's table will get your business up and running, while all PlayStation 4 players will get the butcher's table for free. So if you play on PS4, you can get the trader roll for free. Once operational, you'll provide Crips with materials through hunting animals, pristine pelts and carcasses will provide better yields. You'll also take on resupply mission to reacquire additional necessities through less than savory tactics. Once supplied, Crips will be Begin turning the materials into sellable goods, which can then be sent out on low-risk local deliveries for payment or across greater distances for a premium. Improve your hunting yields with a hunting wagon for larger hauls or upgrade your delivery wagons for larger sales. As your business flourishes and your presence becomes known in the market, your competition may grow jealous of your success, so keep an eye out for raids on your camp. As your trade grows, you might consider purchasing a camp dog from the Wilderness Outfitters. Not only are rare dogs great camp companions for all players, but a trader of sufficient rank can teach their dog to warn of incoming attacks, like they told us about earlier. The trader role. This is very similar to any GTA business. Basically, the game is going to auto-generate supplies for you. Once you supply your business with supplies, it'll auto-generate like new materials, and then you can then sell them. Basically, like the import-export missions and the gun running bunker and the, and all those things. This is that pretty much from GTA. If you're familiar with the way GTA grinding works, the trader role is very similar, if not synonymous to that. Now, moving on. Unique trader skills and items include a stew pot, a camp upgrade that unlocks stew pot recipes to boost cores, ingredient satchel upgrade, store more items in your ingredients pouch, awareness, identify a rival trader wagons at an increased range, canine warning, train your dog to warn of thieves raiding your camp, medium and large delivery wagons, upgraded wagons that can hold more goods for transport, weapons locker, store weapons for later use, Lance Knife, a bespoke knife style available to traders only. Efficiency, learn to increase the amount of usable materials from perfect carcasses. Material Satchel Upgrade, store more items in your materials pouch. Hunting Wagon, a sturdy wagon fit for carrying multiple carcasses, hides, and pelts. Protection, reduce the chance of raids at your camp. Now, ladies and gentlemen, we are moving on to the collector role. Seek out the mysterious traveling saleswoman, Madame Nazar, to acquire the collector's bag and get started on the path of the collector. By successfully collecting all 54 hidden playing cards in Grand Theft Auto Online, you can forego the upfront cost of the collector's bag and earn it for free. Otherwise, it will cost 15 gold bars for access to collecting and selling rare items. With Madame Nazar's help, you will be able to explore the world finding valuable treasures, whether they're discarded tarot cards in abandoned camps, buried treasures unearthed with your thrusty shovel, and hidden family heirlooms, and much, much more. Collect individual pieces and sell them off directly to Madame Nazar or collect entire sets for even more valuable sales. 
As you progress, you'll unlock enhanced searching skills, more useful tools like a metal detector, benefits like increased carrying capacities, the ability for your horse to directly pluck and pass herbs to you while you're mounted, which is insanely helpful. Just literally run over plants and you'll collect them with your horse. That is insanely helpful. And lastly, unique collector skills and items include divination, sense when nearby collectibles are near, Pennington Field Shovel, an essential tool for uncovering buried collectibles. Are we digging in the ground? Potential, detect disturbed earth when using eagle eye. Intuition, narrow your search area. Horse saddlebag upgrade, carry more in your horse's saddlebag. More outfits question mark? Refined binoculars, specialized binoculars that make dig sites glow from a great distance. Aguila machete, a classic machete restyle for the use of adventurous and belligerent collectors. Metal detector, an important tool which can identify collectibles buried underground. Equine assistance, collect herbs from horseback. Horse lantern, light the path ahead with a lantern attached to your horse's breastplate. Valuable satchel upgrade, store more items in your valuables pouch. And we finally have more to discuss, more stuff to look forward to. In addition to these new specialist roles, the update will also include a vast assortment of new features and gameplay updates. These include new free roam events that are unlocked as you progress through each role, additional stable slots for more horses, improved selling prices of jewelry across the board, lootable containers and ambient wagons, more custom outfit slots, and the ability to name saved outfits in your wardrobe, Weapons rebalancing to reduce reliance on headshots as a primary kill method in PvP and much, much more. So they still say, and much, much more, they still haven't given us all the details, which is insane, but what a great way to end. Reduce the reliance on headshots as a primary kill method in PvP. This is a super welcome change, guys. Uh, uh, besides all the other combat changes we're gonna get, headshots are too OP. 99 out of 100 kills you get in PvP are headshots. One kill is a body shot. I hope that they buff body shots as well, as well as nerf these headshots, but I will also just take the headshot change as well. I think that is a very good plan. Thank you, Rockstar. We finally have more info on this update, and it is coming out September 10th, ladies and gentlemen. We have waited a long, long time. It will be almost four days, another four days if they waited for this update, and it would have been a third of a year since we had content. It would have been four entire months since we've been waiting for new content in this game. The drip feed ended a long, long time ago, but it is very awesome. All of these rolls will cost 15 gold bars to access, but to access the Bounty Hunter, all you need to do is basically be a Twitch Prime member and link your Twitch account by September 8th. Five days from now, you can get it for free. The Trader Roll, if you're on PlayStation, you can access the Trader Roll for free. And if you collect all 54 playing cards in GTA Online, you can access the Collector Roll for free. Otherwise, each roll is 15 gold bars. Honestly, 45 gold bars for accessing them all is not that much. That really isn't that much at all. That is like, that's about a week. A little bit less than a week worth of grinding. If you're really really trying to go for content you can get that in about two or three days of gameplay it's really not that hard not not full gameplay days i mean like if you're just playing for like five hours a day for three days you can earn about 45 gold it's really not that hard to do but and nonetheless it's almost a year since this game has been out i think everyone should have the 45 gold it is very very affordable it's leaving a lot of room for new content for you guys to be able to purchase because i'm sure all of this content is going to cost a lot either gold or money Gold will be the most useful thing in this update, so just make sure you're saving as much gold as possible. Do not be spending it now. Now that we know all this stuff about the update, save all your money, save all your gold. This is everything though, ladies and gentlemen. This is the update. It's super, super exciting. I hope you guys enjoy. We finally have something. With all that said and out of the way, that is everything here that is up on deck for the summer update. All of us are really looking forward to this update. And now that we have this information shared with us, we'll see where it all goes. I will keep you guys up to date, but hopefully you, en you enjoy the video. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Are you looking forward to this summer update now that we have this official news and information? Whatever you feel, however you feel, feel free to let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. With that said, hopefully you enjoyed the video. Make sure to drop a like down below. And of course, if you are new to the channel, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss a single thing regarding all things Red Dead Online and Red Dead Redemption 2. I got you covered with the best of updates, news, information, tips, tricks, leaks, and all that good stuff. And also, Grand Theft Auto Online and Last of Us Part 2 content. Can't forget about those. If you want to follow me on Twitter, Twitch, and Instagram to also get connected with me outside of YouTube, you can follow me at Hazardous HDTV. On all three links can be found in the description down below. Thank you guys all so much for watching, and thank you guys for sticking with me through this awful news drought. I will see you guys in the next Red Dead Online update video. We're going to be talking about each of these things, doing a deep dive with each role. I'm going to do probably some other cool stuff this week with you guys. We have a great week ahead. I'm so excited for September 10th. We finally have news. It's a good day. Be happy, okay? We've waited a long time, and now it's time to finally have a smile on our face because the update is right around the corner, and I couldn't be more excited, and I'm so happy to embark on this journey with you guys. Thank you so very much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next Red Dead Online video. Adios, amigos.